presented by Church Tech to you. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to move themes from one computer to another. Hi and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Themes are one of the best tools in Pro Presenter. In Pro 7, uh, they're called themes. In Pro 6, they were called templates, etc. But still, the idea is the same. The problem comes when you want to move one from one computer to another. Um, you might think that that would all be included when you export a bundle. But you may be a little confused as to why it doesn't always seem to cross on over there. So, I thought that I would take you into my computer and show you just how you can move a theme from one computer to another quickly and easily. So here we are in ProPresenter and if you go up here into Preferences and then Advanced, you'll notice that it tells you where the support files are. I'm going to click on this just to show you where they are, um, but this is actually also the dialog where you set where they are. So make sure that you don't actually, uh, by mistake, click on the wrong thing and then click select because that'll mess you up. Did that by mistake one time. I was utterly confused, um, but don't do that. So just pay attention to where those are located on your computer. So let's click cancel and I've already got a window open with that in there. So. Here we have all of our themes. Notice on my computer it's in the iCloud drive under Documents and then Pro Presenter. So we've got all those themes. Now if I go back over to Pro Presenter, let me just drag that over to the side just a bit. And we select Theme. You'll notice that I have 1, 2, 3, 4 is a theme. I have 16 by 9, and I have 4, 5, 6, 7. But what I don't have is I don't have theme 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I know. Super creative name. Anyway, what I've done is I've got that theme right here. I just put it in uh, another library. And so it doesn't exist under the themes folder, so ProPresenter didn't know to look for it there. So I can imagine that I had this on one computer, put it onto a thumb drive, airdropped it, used Dropbox, you know, just however I'm getting that theme from point A to point B. You want the entire folder, any assets in that assets folder, and the theme, just this whole thing. So. If we compare that to this, notice the file structure is identical. So you want the uh, folder with the name on it, okay? So grab that and move it from wherever it is on your computer once you transfer it over to the new computer into the themes uh, folder here. And so now we see that it's right there. Now, here's where the magic happens. If I go back into theme, you'll see that it's right there. So ProPresenter automatically refreshes it, Pro7 does, um, once that's there. Pro6, uh, you had to restart ProPresenter, but uh, with Pro7, it automatically refreshes. So that's how you move a theme from one instance of ProPresenter to another. Well, I hope that helped you. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my online church tech training community churchtechu.com. So head on over to Church Tech U and uh, you can sign up to get a free copy of my ProPresenter 6 and ProPresenter 7 keyboard shortcut cheat sheet. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.